Sherpa Design, and we're going to take a quick look at the new and improved functionality for copying and pasting constraints along with components. Here I have an assembly I've been building, and I need to add another wheel to the back side. In NX2406, I can simply click on the component that I want to copy, and from the menu, select Copy. I then click in the background, select Paste, and the Component Paste dialog comes up, the Resolve Constraints for Paste dialog. And I've got a list of constraints along with a new instance of the component that I'm copying. Now I'm looking to satisfy the other selection for adding this constraint. So I'll select in the assembly to satisfy that one. Here we have a constraint that I think is tied to this pawl nut on the end. I'm going to add that after I add the wheel to the back side. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this constraint from this list. And then I'm going to add a alignment. You can see this uh, axis alignment. I'm going to add that by selecting an inferred axis there. Now I am getting an alert that says conflicts with other constraints. So I'm going to go back up to my alignment constraint that I just added. I'm going to right click and reverse the direction there. So that will satisfy the constraint confliction with that first touch constraint that I added. Now I also want to add in a parallel constraint. This is between the origin datum plane there. Which one is that? The XY and then the XY of the origin of the assembly. And so I'm going to go ahead and select that and I'll orient it, fully constrain it. And I can click OK to add that constraint. Now you notice it is in its modeling reference set. If I unpack these two instances of the rear wheel, you can see the one I just added is at the bottom, and the replace reference set is model. Even though during the placement of the part itself, I could see the entire part. I'm now going to add the Paul nut by doing the exact same thing. Copy and paste and we have it floating over here looks like we're on the inside face and so i want to select to satisfy this touch constraint that right there this one is the center line I'll go ahead and infer that center line here as well this conflicts, so I'll go ahead and reverse the direction. It's just because we're going from one side to the other, I have to reverse that. And then the touch, although this probably isn't necessary, but I can add a touch to satisfy that as well. Click OK. So now I've completed my assembly. And I can quickly add components and build up an assembly. And it's made really easy in NX with the ability to copy and paste components and their constraints.